Welcome to the PK411. So yeah, we're back to the old viewpoint. The last one was a epic fail. You could just see my chin move. Uh, don't know if you saw that one over a couple of trades, just testing a new location. The reason why you're not seeing me right now is because I want you to see that top shelf. See Valiant? God dang it. Like, Valiant never makes mistakes. But that's killing me now. See the spines? Yeah, I'm one of those guys. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Marvel, but dang it, right there, all white, and then started coloring. See the numbers on the bottom? My God. The only good thing is that uh, that disseminates, wrong word, but uh, armor hunters. So anything after armor hunters is with the colored spine. Now let's talk about Marvel, people. Hi. Here's a difference. It's sort of funny when I look back at all my different episodes. I was talking and looking at my notes and stuff. And then slowly but surely, like, they got farther and farther away as my eyes went. <laughs> yeah, two bucks from CVS. That way I can lose them. Marvel. We're going to talk about single issues. We're going to talk about a uh, group titles and then we're going to talk about events and then I always end up with Star Wars which is sort of Marvel Disney but not really Marvel. Um, Invincible Iron Man number seven Brian Michael Bendis and Diodato. I have to uh, say that Diodato I think is my favorite artist. Let's just say that. Isad Rubik it's up there. Diodato especially when it comes to space and that reminds me of Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers run. Um, excellent title. This is at least my top five um, I think he's doing a wonderful job, and at the end of this, is like, wait a minute, we have a female Thor now, and then we have a female Aquaman, really, Abnett, and then we have a female Hawkeye, Fraction. What, what is Fraction doing right now, Matt Fraction? What is he doing right now? Um, of course, X-23, female Wolverine. Well, let's make a female Iron Man, right? Uh, number eight, and of course, now we have the Road to Civil War, but man... Spider-Man. I posted this on CBNAH about how wonderful Spider-Man was in this. And someone said, yeah, Bendis writes a good Spider-Man. I loved it. Again, the art, top-notch. A um, couple of confusing panels in this one, to be honest, but still top five. Um, and Bendis and Malieve are back together in issue number nine. And I should be pointing to Moon Knight, but I, <laughs> I moved it. But Bendis and Malieve did a wonderful Moon Knight uh, run. Now, sticking with Brian Michael Bendis, who we know from, um, wait, Black Vortex. Come on, guys. Give it a rest. Black Vortex is okay. A little bit of a hot potato story, yes. Um, but that's how we see the Kree homeworld die, which I believe is a movie rights issue. And that's why we see Chitauri. Even as far back as the Nova, all new Marvel Now Nova, got Jeff Loeb, I believe. Sam Humphreys was involved. But Jeff Loeb, I believe, started that new Nova, which was great because at the time, Slot was doing Superior Spider-Man, so we lost that sort of like high school ingenue type of um, uh, hero. Nova was that. All right. How about that for sequiturs? Stream of consciousness, lightning round. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's the wonderful, like, graphics. Yeah. That may or may not come. I need to do these more. It's great for my acting, meager acting career to keep on top. All right, so Spider-Man. This is Miles Morales that came over to our universe. Um, so with great power, must there must also come great responsibility. No one gets that last part. That's so wonderful that Peter Parker says that. It's, that's Brian Michael Bendis at his best, talking to us, you know, the fans. All right, so uh, he saves the day, and the, the best part about this is that, wait, this is number two. The best part about this is that Peter Parker is giving him sort of the handshake, yeah, he's the Spider-Man now. Now, having said that, Miles' reaction to a fan noticing his skin, to me, is awesome. Because when there is no race creator color, then you don't see race creator color. And Miles says something to that effect. And I think that was really poignant with a silent G. Number three, I got this because of a fellow CBNAH member. Scott, got to work on that one. See, CBNAH. 
James Risk, who's also a retailer, said, said that, I, that he loved the part in number three. I won't give you the spoiler, but someone from um, a different title comes over to, to Spider-Man. Not amazing, and not a decimal, just Spider-Man, and that's uh, Miles Morales. Now, that particular issue is top-notch in terms of cinematography almost, the art going through it, and, and the panels, how they're laid out. There's no fighting. There's not even a costume, I don't believe, except for maybe one little part. Um, that issue is really a teenage drama. Not that that's not needed. I'm just saying that's what that is. Now, there's a 1.4 somewhere, but this is the decimal series is what I call it, um, by Molina and uh, Bianchi, Bianchi. I love the art. He really highlights the white of the suit. And, jeez, I don't know where it was, but maybe it was an Iron Man. He says, well, I have a spider on my chest that's glowing now for some reason. <laughs> Another one sort of breaking the fourth wall. That's really funny. Forget what issue that is. But this, my friends, this one particular issue, and it's actually lost in 1.4, he has talks with Ben and has theology discussion with Beast. Just get this as a one shot. I mean... 1.1, 1.2, 1.4, okay, 1.3, seminal. Let's pop over to Mockingbird number one. Pleasantly surprised, and from a new writer, at least for me. Um, she goes to a lot of patient visits, and, and uh, she needs to be checked out by S.H.I.E.L.D. Look <laughs> at Tony Stark reading a pamphlet about the clap. Pause for effect. Yeah, I mean, fucking funny, man. All right, um, just so you know, there's five issues. The fifth one continues, number one, and she says this in the back, which totally makes sense because this, what the, like someone read Sunstone or Tarot or something before she wrote this, uh, he or she wrote this? I don't know, Kane is, uh, anyway, uh, this was a certain departure. It's a departure. Risque? Is that the word I'm looking for? All right, Jason Aaron. Doctor Strange. At least it's not Cumberbatch, but it's a Frank Zappa. Doctor Strange. Sort of a womanizer. Well, demonizer. <laughs> Those that read the issue understand what that is. Um, why is it five bucks? That's sort of ticking me off. Now, Aaron is a prolific writer. He did a wonderful job with Esau Ribic in this. Um, sort of tailored off in the end, but these first five issues in this Hardcover is wonderful. However, don't get this hardcover. It's the first one that came out, and there's a better hardcover with a little, you know, in terms of money, bang for your buck, there's a better hardcover that collects more of them. I, I don't know if it's like two arcs together, but it's like $2 different, so don't get this. Um, however, that was a wonderful run by Jason Aaron. That's what made me go, okay, Jason Aaron's got it going on. He also did Men of Wrath, which is Icon, which is creator-owned like Image, or some of it is, but yeah, creator owned. Ugh, I want to say Marvel, but I don't know that for sure. It's like the image of Marvel. Um, this is gritty stuff, people. Um, and I'd have to say his best work is Southern Bastards because they're really home stories that he's retelling. Um, but if you want to read something sort of like, I don't know, Midwestern gruesome, I go Garth Ennis. Coming to the TV near you. Um, but yeah, Preacher, if you want, I mean, Men of Wrath was good, it was collected in just those four issues, possibly five. See, now I have my glasses, I can read, and it's not on the back, so, yeah. And actually, that was 15 bucks. So I would say, use your money to get this in preparation for the TV show. All right, going on with, uh, Dr. Strange. Just so you know, there's the Last Days of Magic that's happening now, and that will be a separate title as well. Um, I find this irreverent. And there's mind slugs and sort of like ha ha and was sort of very odd arc. But I like the new arc. Okay. I like the new arc and uh, Last Days of Magic. So the magic's going away. Fine. Larry Niven did that forever, right? If you read the Ringworld books, Integral Trees, all that stuff. All right. Um, it's, it's more reverent than the first issues, uh, but it doesn't really match the art, in my opinion. Um, the second half of the arc, examples of magic being lost, is a bit of a trope, but... Still on my pull list. I stayed with it like a good boy. Warren Ellis. Now, 
Everyone wanted this to be Moon Knight. I got it. Warren Ellis is a prolific writer. Um, what is coming to my mind right now? Is it Injection? Yes. Yeah. It's pretty good. Because he actually writes dialogue in that particular uh, title. Um, this one doesn't. It's very action-based. The difference between number two and number three is like months. I'm talking three or four. Um, it's a writer's illness, for sure. There's great action, but you could really insert superhero here. Except for a couple of different ways that he's taking apart weapons, it could have been Midnight. And of course, they're trying to involve Coulson and S.H.I.E.L.D. and tie in the TV show. I, I just find that's a little forced, um, and I have no idea what his hand wraps on. He's like channeling mummies or something. Um, again, dialogue's a little bit inflated, but it's, it's trying too hard. That's what it is. Still on my pull list, still going to get it. So then we go to Jeff Lemire, Lemire, always have to say both. Uh, Moon Knight number one. Here's a little side note. His run in Bloodshot Reborn, which I thought was pretty nifty, though I think he left out some history. Retcons were incorrect. Um, that being the, the red part of his chest. Because that is a wound that didn't heal. So why would the six others have it? Doesn't make sense. Why would nanites make them crazy? That's also not explained. And I'm pretty sure in Bloodshot number zero, his origin story, he was African American. I still need to check on that though. So, bit of a trope. Well done. It's good pacing. Necessary ingredients. Pretty straightforward. So, I just, I miss the days. I know it's 25 years ago. I miss the days that it was a Batman analog. A silver clad to go against the werewolf, right? Werewolf by night number 23, I'm guessing. And he had a bunch of gadgets. That's gone. Once they went into alter egos of a mercenary was multiple personality disorder. He'll never be the same again. Black Panther. Uh, Nahisi Coates. Very interesting. Why is it five bucks? I know very little about, little about the Black Panther, though I had a dream about him last night. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, full disclosure here. Vulner, vulnerability. Um, yeah, Black Panther is coming out in the movie. It's going to be great. Uh, it's a great foundation. I will certainly get number two. I, I just don't know how, we're, how that's going to progress. I just like the fact that they make the technologically advanced world of Wakanda. They're, they're, they're showing that. And for that, I'm interested. Now, let's go to the ultimate thumbs down. I try not to give reviews like this is good, this is bad. It, it comes out, obviously. But my God, my God, the, the JMS, if you want to read about Mark Milton, it's got to be right, Mark Milton, you get supreme power, okay? And you get the supreme power. Now you got, that's the green, I mean, it's basically JMS writing the Justice League within Marvel, and for some reason you can't get the third one without paying 70 bucks, so you have to get the trade. Um, <laughs> this man. Oh, I'm a truck driver, and I don't want to be a hero. And then, like, some circus clown runaway says, oh, but you got to be a... Oh. Wow. <laughs> Number two, I got only to see how bad it's going to get. It gets worse. Now the villain is Worm Boy. I will get you with my worms. So let's balance that out with Tom King's The Vision. He's now exclusive with DC, but he'll go up to 12 with this. And I could speak volumes of this, but I'm just going to say, get it. Okay? That's what I'm going to say. Enough of Vision. Jason Aaron, luckily this isn't five bucks, but this is number three of Mighty, Mighty Thor. Um... Sometimes I'm not liking the art, but it's this is a very dense, well-written comic. I'm just not liking it. Don't don't know how that connects. Um, there's there's just how do I explain this? I don't know. That one that one had Pink Floyd scars for me, and then this is when it got 
I, I'm using a reverent too much, but this, apparently it's happened before that Mjolnir has struck Odin, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I think that's, <laughs> respect your elders, even if they're being a dick, you talk to them, you don't hit them with a hammer. Yeah. I mean, last two issues, big things happen. I'm not going to say no to that, but. All right. Nick Spencer. Solid story. Less laughs. That's number five. And then we go to number seven, and it's like, uh-oh, did I really screw up? There needs to be a number six. But you can tell that Spencer, I mean, he's dealing with standoff. Like if Hickman was in 2012 to 13, I don't know. I used to laugh a lot. Laugh out loud to Nick Spencer and Ant-Man, that's lost. That's all I'm saying. Lucifer doesn't connect to the TV show by any means. Number two, they go through hell. Number three, they go through the dreamscape. A couple nods to uh, Neil Gaiman. Um, I had something else to say about Nick Spencer. Hmm. All right, so uh, not in line with the TV show. It's dark. I like it. Um, and there's two stories going on. Two, two arcs simultaneous. Number three. By the way, Lilith in this, if you ever read King, Stephen King, actually Sandy King's Asylum, Lilith looks a lot different than this hottie. And I remember Lilith as Arachnid from Temple of Dark, Elemental Evil. Temple of Elemental Evil, Forgotten Realms. God, was it AD&D 2E? That's how I know Lilith. She's a hottie in that one. Um, then we have number four. There's two stories that converge, and she opens it. Pandora's box type of thing. Opens it. Love it. Um, then we have number five. Obviously, it's, I'm continuing with this. Um, the God Killer and Lucifer. There's sort of a reveal. Yeah. Still fun. Still fun. Sleeper hit. Spider-Man Deadpool. I'm so impressed. Do not underestimate this title. The, the slash in it usually connotes sort of a mashed together title. This is great. They play off each other. It's recommended. Dense, funny, worth it. Um, and, I mean, the ending is a huge cliff, cliffhanger. I don't know how they're going to tie this in, but my God, the top free pass list, if you know what, a, I'm not married, but if you're married and you have a free pass list, then you have to look at number five. And, and Spider-Man even goes, hey, what's number five? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, so check it out. Standoff Alpha 01, and then there's going to be an Omega. Just talking about Nick Spencer, but there's still something else I want to talk about Nick Spencer. And then you have Standoff Welcome to Pleasant Hill. Number one. So the numbering's a little odd. Um, I call this the Truman Show Jail. <clears throat> I don't find it prolific. But the only reason why you see two of these... <clears throat> five bucks, by the way. The only reason why you see two of these is because it's like, hey, you know what? I want to I want to change the trades and hardcovers. Maybe I'll get this. Ends up to be 35 bucks. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Seriously, not sure. All right. Lastly, we have Star Wars and Jason Aaron. Is this five bucks? No, four bucks. Save a buck. Um, it's interesting that I, Darth Vader's next, but Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader, I was not enjoying the absence of Dr. Aphra. Well, guess what? She's in here. Yep. So I guess Jason Aaron gets her. Uh, that's Star Wars 17. Star Wars 13, what the hell is that about? Well, don't you hate it? When, and they even did this for me. Or us. <laughs> um, Vader. Down. Three of six. It was popping between a couple titles. And they put this badge on it. And I'm filing it away. I'm like, I don't have number three. This is what kills me. I read so many titles. This is just Marvel. We got DC and others over there. Um, it's like, why am I confused? God dang it. You know, I'm forgetting my, my storylines. Well, no. I actually... <laughs> Always check your pull list, moral of the story. You may have a pull list, but you look at their website. This is the LCSs. You look at the website, you see what they released that, that week, and you make sure that you get everything you want, whether you have to forage or whether it's on your pull list. 
Um, my LCS calls it forage. Hopefully yours does and you know what that means. Um, yeah. So then we go to Darth Vader 16. <clears throat> it's a bridging issue, but let me point out, if you didn't get the annual, that's not going to make sense. Darth Vader 17. <clears throat> I ended up reading this after 18, and it actually sort of still made sense. That should say something, you know, as a counterpoint to what I just said. If you read it out of order, you should be like, eh, but it, it wasn't. It says something about the story. Um, and then, yeah, he takes care of the Myelin colony. He's a badass. I did like that. I do feel like the steam is coming out of this particular title. Good art, though. And then 19... And this seems to be the end of the mining colony arc. Seems to be. Um, but now it starts a new arc. And Vader's going to be in trouble. At long last. After like 10 issues, actually. And then I, br I brought this out. Greg Rucka. We love him from Lazarus. If you're not reading Lazarus, do it. But Greg Rucka wrote this. And this takes place in between Star Wars 6 and Star Wars 7. I was very happy about it. And they actually got it out before the movie came out in December. Um, my Disney stock is still not doing well. Uh, last week, I think it finally broke 100. And that's good. But it's a far cry from the 120. I didn't buy a 120. I won't tell you what I bought. I didn't buy a 120, but it's a far cry. That's... Yeah. This with the Coruscant trees, that is BS! <laughs> CBNA for life! 